multiplicity of opposites that seems to be the psyche. And you, one might even think of it as larger than that, a zoological garden of all types of, of inner creatures of, of the mind and all of that multiplicity. Where is the you? Where is the self? Well, I can tell you how we think about that, okay? Because everybody has their own way of looking at that. Awareness, when we think about consciousness, we think about it as operating on three different levels. Awareness gives me the ability to witness whatever is going on. It's a wonderful gift, as you well know. It means that if I have awareness, I don't have to be identified with anything I'm saying. So even as I communicate these ideas to you, my awareness witnesses. And a part of me doesn't have to be identified with what I'm saying. Awareness gives me the gift of not being attached to what I'm saying. It's a wonderful thing. But awareness isn't enough, because if you're just aware, then you never experience anything. So the second level of the definition is experience the experience of all of this multiplicity that you just talked about. We are an unbelievably array of energies. I mean, it's awesome what's inside of us. So the second part of the, the consciousness is experiencing these different parts. I may not be able to do all of it this time around, but I, I do the best I can. And that's the journey that all of us are sharing because every kind of consciousness work at some level is, is learning and experiencing these different if you're a Jungian, you learn it the symbolic way. If you're a Gestalt, you learn it the emotional way. If you're transpersonal, you learn it that way. If you're a Reichian, you learn it that way. If you're a body worker, it, but it's all, it's all dealing with all these different energies. So awareness and experience. But we need one more thing. Who's going to put it together? Who's going to figure out how to act? Who's going to make choices? The ego. But that's a little complicated, isn't it? Because what we, what we discover in this work is that what we think is our ego is really our primary selves. So if I've been trained as a rational, my, as a rational man, and you say to me, who are you? I'm a rational man. Mm -hmm. Until you help me separate from that. In other words, who you are, as you're, as you're describing it to me, is some potential for pure awareness, separate from all of your patterns and, and behaviors. And, well, I am, I am all three of these things. I am, I am an aware ego that is taking advantage of this pure awareness and taking advantage of the experience, and I am not identified with any. I am an orchestra conductor that is, that is trying to learn how to handle this amazing array of energy around me. I am a gardener who learns how to take care of all these plants and feed the animals that are inside of me and that inhabit my nature.